Governor Andrew Cuomo is backpedaling a bit tonight after making a statement that Democrats should shut down the federal government in order to get new gun control legislation passed. Something we've been covering for a few days now. Our political analyst, New York Post political columnist Fred Dicker has also been watching this. Fred, bring us up to speed. Well, the governor really did back down, as you said, today on a New York City uh, radio interview saying, well, he was misunderstood. He really doesn't think his fellow Democrats in Congress should hold up the federal government, shut it down, basically, as he had said on Friday, in order to get tougher gun control laws. He was just trying to signal, he said, how important this issue is. Well, it is important. And I think one of the reasons the governor did this, Cody, is that Hillary Clinton, who he backs, or he says he backs for president, is now making a tougher gun legislation a central theme of her campaign. She was sure to be asked if she wanted to shut down the federal government, as New York Governor Cuomo was suggesting. So I think by pulling it back, he helps Hillary uh, out of an embarrassing situation. Interesting. And as you say, and as we, I think we can all agree, it's an important issue. The governor said today, we ran a soundbite earlier, that this is a societal crisis. Is Congress going to do anything this time? Well, certainly not before the end of the year. I'm not sure it's a crisis. I mean, there have been these isolated, horrible incidents. There's no question about that. But a crisis is a pretty strong word. I would note that another Democratic contender is doing very well from neighboring Vermont. Bernie Sanders last night was backing off tougher gun laws. You know, if you go to Vermont, you can buy a handgun there without a permit. You can buy a semi-automatic so-called assault rifle that Governor Cuomo has banned in New York right across the border. Yet Vermont hardly has any crime at all, very low crime rate. So it's not clear exactly what can be done. And as long as the Republicans control Congress, I think it's fair to say, probably not too much. The president, President Obama, is looking to take some action by administrative fiat, but that could be subject to court challenge. Well, it's certainly a polarizing issue, and it is, sure is. even without these mass shootings, when we go through each election cycle. How big of an issue do you think this is going to be in the race to the White House? I think most people have made up their minds on this issue. Poll after poll has shown a narrowly divided country, but there is strong support for uh, individual gun ownership, something that makes America pretty unique. For that reason, Bill Clinton, for instance, has warned Democrats about not going too aggressively on that issue. But I think it's fair to say most gun owners are probably Republican. Most absolute gun opponents are probably Democrat, Democrats. So, uh, you know, not too many minds, I think, Cody, are going to be changed. People have thought about it over the years. Yes, yeah, certainly have. All right, Fred, good talk. Thanks a lot. Okay. Reminder, you can hear Fred's radio program live from the state capitol every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.